So about 10 minutes later, Mr. T does in fact show up and you know, he's got a jumpsuit on. This is when he was getting ready for the wrestling match and he had the gold chains and he had this baton with a spring in the middle that he kept pumping. And he Carolines kept, is a comedy club room, located uh, in, in the, the Chelsea most, section of Manhattan. The most, the most and it uh, was described by one person as uh, Caroline's just a comedy with Birdland and Moist Music. This guy, I don't understand. How you doing? Wait, where's my, where's my, where's my, where's my? I said, well, welcome to the show. And, hey, boy, how's it, boy, how's it? I kept trying to figure out what he was saying. Where's my number? Where's my number? And finally, his interpreter said, he's saying, where's my dressing room? Where's my dressing room? When I came to this studio, one of the things I wanted to get out of the move was to have an 810 dark room so I could do 8 by 10 film in black and white. And I wanted to photograph my friends in a uh, kind of a uniform format on a white background with 810 film. And that's what I started to do. I would tell them, come in any way you want to, wearing whatever you want to be remembered in, and I'll do one sheet of film. And that's what I did. One girl had just gotten back from Guadalupe and just gotten a black gamma mink coat. So she came in wearing nothing but her black gamma mink coat and her tan and posed like this. It's a great shot. I can't show it to you, of course. Most people had more uh, ordinary poses, but this evolved into a, a search for a theme, a unifying theme for a book. And then with uh, Caroline's being right around the corner and being a hot comedy club, this worked into something with a deal with Caroline to do their marquee photos, and which gave me something, gave me a theme to unify the whole project around a month of Sundays at Caroline's, for example, a book of comedians who've appeared at Caroline's. And this includes a lot of um, fairly well-known people. For instance, Sir Richard Belzer, for example, or uh, David Steinberg, Emo Phillips, Larry Bud Melman, even. <laughs> Comedy, I really believe, is a very cerebral kind of um, profession, I suppose you'd call it. And it's very tough, and these people are very serious people. Most of the ones who've been in here are, on their own time, which is in here just being photographed, are very much like anybody else, except maybe more serious. And the, the one exception to that that I can think of right up hand is um, <laughs> Richard Belser. It was pretty much the way he is on stage when he was here. He's the first guy I did. He was the first shot. At the shows. Yeah. Got much better by the eighth one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, and Collins, guys? Bobby Collins yeah. and... Bobby Collins. And what's his name? Uh, know, Tarantino. Tarantino. Yeah, Who? Tarantino. James Tarantino put a lot of weight on, didn't he? No. <laughs> I can remember his Harry name or Shear. something. Harry Shearer, right. These are great pictures. Yeah. Uh, John, John Kassir. Right. Kassir. Kassir. Of course. Larry Bud Melman. Jane Hansfield. Pretty good, I pretty go good. He did a great imitation of Ed Sullivan, which is the kind best, of interesting. You know? I mean, uh, mailmen do Ed Sullivan. Agents <laughs> do Ed Sullivan. Right? He does the best. Ed Sullivan. Because he physicalized it, which no one had done. You know, that those spin, uh, uh, spinning and the jumping. Oh, right, right. And I'll pay you another thing. So these pictures are for the outside? Yeah, yeah. Have you been down to the seaport? No, seat I heard board? there's a big picture of me oh, down yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should get out and take a look at it. I was saying, I can't remember what they have you saying. Saying? Yeah, they have little bubbles over your head, like, you know, like comic strips. You know. The technique is really very simple. It's uh, almost down and dirty. It's blasting out the background and seamless paper with uh, electronic flash and then lighting the subject with a plain umbrella as the main light, and that's it. There's a lot of light bounced around, but basically you have a subject w taking all the attention because there's no background to interfere with the subject itself. It's very clean. Okay, here we go. I can't see a thing in here. Well, there it is. Oh, all right. I can't Actually, that's pretty good. I like that. Yeah. It's about hey, a little, yeah. little vaudeville. Yeah, let me have a focusing thing here. Okay, it's his mark. Perfect, right in focus. What a guy. Hold that, what, what a guy. Subject. What a guy. Hold that right there. Actually, hey, no I think pictures. this might, this might be a better <laughs> shot. Hey, no studio. No hey, pictures. Hey, no pictures. This might even be a better uh, no shot. Pictures. You know that? This is a social call. Okay. Uh oh. Let me have that again. You just did. My dental x ray? Yeah, I like that. Hi, Great. I'm the coolest guy in the Great. world. Then. Lean back a little more. Love it. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> one more, one more. You know, the album cover. It's like a press courier. <laughs> and this is a 
Presidential politics. See, I can do that without even looking anymore. Last time I had to have a special assistant to Kaka, remember that? Beautiful. What a guy. One straight on. What a guy. What a guy. Straight ahead? Yep. Okay. Can I change my underwear for this? Just, yeah, just do. You want me to go over there and straighten his tie or anything like uh -huh. that? Or is this, this is cool. All right. Hey, come Here on, we go. Here we go. To me. No, we have a fluffer for that. Right. How about Richard is late for something? <laughs> okay, that's a wrap. That's great. Really? That's it. The sky pro or what? That's good. So you got three pictures, Mo, Larry, and Curly, right? What a so, guy. Uh, Get a shot of this. Yeah. I have some from my scrapbook. Great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. BBC. Yeah. Wonderful. Right. That was sure. great. You got a work permit to be in this country? Yeah. or? So right after for... you take my pictures, how much do you sell them for? Well, it depends on what I think the market will bear. You know what I mean? It's, uh, some people can't pay anything. Some people can. Does the artist get a cut, or how does that work? Well, it depends on what he can negotiate. If he's a position of strength, yeah, he can get a cut. He <laughs> must be doing well. There's Rolls Royce over there. Yeah, that's my uh, driver's car. In here, hey. in here. Okay. Oh, hello, hello Neil. Hi, Neil. Hi, Neil. Hi, Neil. And there he is right on the wall here. All right. Hey, that was quick. Oh, yeah. That's see? great. This is, the, this is the new... Get on the other side. This is the new Belser here. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Can I get one of those? Absolutely. For my house? Absolutely. Are you kidding? Great. You can, go, you can get a pocket one for your wife. It's this size, only you fold it up 45 times, it comes in this size. I really like that a lot. That's great. Well, that's great. It's a new pocket. Hey, Thank what is you. this? I appreciate it.